on the CRV, of course, first generation, and we have a problem power door locks don't work. Not good. It is annoying when you have to go and lock each door manually instead of just push this button and lock it all of them at the same time. Yeah, let's get started, see what we'll find. I have no idea what's wrong with one and why they're not working. And uh, yeah, let's confirm the issue. I have a key. Let's turn the key to the on position. Here we go. And try to lock it and lock it. Nothing. Nothing happening. Yeah. You can lock manually, but you cannot unlock it. See that? And this one. Yeah, window works on a passenger side but power locks don't and yeah not good let's see what we have okay we're going to chase the problem from the power source battery fuses relays switches actuators modules and one note the one direction where actually probably will go straight to the module because we don't have driver side power window working as you can see but we have passenger front we have right rear one and we have passenger back left window working and we're missing this window. Why I'm saying that because we must likely get in problem with the uh, with the wiring harness to the module behind this cover. I'm going to cover some extra steps. Even I know my fuses are fine and uh, I don't have any issues with the fuse box over there, but it might just help someone to locate power fuse and see if you have a power fuse is good and it come into the switch and everything from there and uh, yeah let's do the checks under the hood stick to the basics which are actually easier to access and, and then we have also a fuse box here this door will get to this one later and yeah let's take a look under the hood check the wiring diagram and go from there all right, here's a wiring diagram. This is a Honda CRV service repair manual, and we have a two types of power locks circuit diagrams with a K-less entry system, which has a transmitter and antenna. We don't have this one. Ours bone basic without K-less entry system, and uh, yeah, we have a battery. Battery is over there and under hood fuse relay box which is this guy just beside the battery we have ignition switch on a steering column and we have under dash fuse box relay that one which i just shown and even knowing my fuses are good i will just show you where they are and uh, do the basic couple minutes check number 41 42 and 51 under the hood let's do the checks i have a test light or a basic tool that's connected one side to the negative battery terminal and before we'll start doing a test let's check our equipment yes test light is working and now we can check the fuses okay take the cover off and there's a 4100 amps this bad boy and fuse is good it's not blown and we have a power coming to the fuse and because fuse intact and we have power on another leg as well checked let's check 42 and 41 all right thank you honda for giving us a description of the fuses not like ford 20 amp door lock unit and um, roof all right let's check this one two three this guy 
no power on this leg. My test light is lit and we have a power on another leg means fuse is intact and everything there. All right. Okay, now we are going to 42, 40 amp ignition and these guys here ignition and check the condition of the fuse visual inspection is always the first and the fuse is okay we have a power on one leg and of course we have another okay this fuse relay box checked out let's go under the dash and check this number 25 seven and a half amps i guess this one should be okay but we'll go and check it anyway all right here's our under dash fuse box open a door let's connect our ground all right alligator clip is connected to no one good ground and let's locate our fuse for door locks if you look here there's seven and a half amps let's take a door out i can see better okay there's more light Okay, seven and a half amps interlock unit, and it means we have this door like this, and that fuse is yeah on, on bottom row, first on the on the right. Okay, let's do that. The door like this, and the yeah, first one. Oh, there's 20 amps here. It's not 7 amps. Yeah, let's turn the key to the on position to the power of the circuit. It's ignition fuse. Okay, key turn to the on position. And let's see. Yeah, we have power on one leg of the fuse. Make sure you can see it. Yeah, my test light is lit and we have power on both sides of the fuse. I'm not sure why someone put a 20 amp there, but we'll leave it for now. And uh, yeah, everything's checked out so far. Fuse is under the hood and this interlock unit fuse. All right, and that's seven and a half, 20, we'll leave it for now. Let's put this door back and go to our wiring diagram. We checked uh, under the hood fuse relay box, all those ones, and we are getting power to the fuse under the dash number 25, which is 7.5 amps, should be. And we have a power on both legs of the fuse, and yellow wire is coming to pin number 16 to power door lock control unit and another wire white and green is coming from fuse number 20 to power lock module and pin number 8 okay let's get to this power door lock module check if we have a constant power here on this pin number 8 ignition switch power to the module at pin 16 and also, as you can see here, pin 17 at the connector, black wire to ground G551. Right, let's locate this unit and uh, go from there. I just flip the page back and now we have component location index, power door locks and K-less power door lock unit control. We have here and uh, ju -ju 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 at on a driver's door over here just below the side mirror and um, yeah let's go to that module and do the tests yeah we have to take the front panel okay i'm going to remove this panel and get access to our power door lock control unit and see what we have now we have access to our module let's reconnect our door lock switch here we go this is our module and it looks exactly the same okay here we go 
nice and easy. Oh, look at that. The rust is crushed is a bit. Yeah, a little bit, but not too bad. But over here, you can see a little bit of green. We'll clean that up. Check the pin fitment. And look at that. Green. And it's, see, we don't have this plastic film here. Someone just removed it, tried to fix it, but probably didn't work out. We had some missing screws and rust is crushed. It's, look at that looks corrosion. One, two, three. Yeah, four, five. Ooh. This connector is pretty bad. We need a dioxide to clean it. There's a contact cleaner eventually. White and green, constant power. We should have a power on that wire. White and green. Let's look at that bad boy. Or uh, where are you? Here we go. Ooh, this one's badly rusted. Look at that. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. White and green. Okay, let's uh, connect our test light and see if we have any power there. Okay. Yeah, water intrusion. Okay, here's our good ground. And we'll be clean up later. Let's see if we have power. Oh yeah. See. Even with that rust and crust, power is there. Come into the module and terminals are not spread it out. Looks okay, visual at least. Yeah. Checked white wire with a green tracer straight power constant it's here good the next one is a our yellow coming from under dash fuse relay box fuse number 25 and a half amps a yellow just a solid yellow pin number 16. okay let's check that guy that's ignition switched power let's turn key to the on position, there we go. Ignition is on, and we're looking for solid yellow wire. See this thick wire? Ignition switched. It's coming to this guy. Huh, nothing. We don't have an ignition switch power coming to the module. That's already something, and uh, power is not coming to the connector, and this module won't work. We don't worry about ground, this black wire, yet, we'll leave it for now. But, yeah, no switched power, not good. Well, where you go next? You're looking for moving parts, means where harness can bend and twist. We're here, we have a door, we have a door frame, and here's a connecting harness, which moves back and forth, closing and opening door. Most likely we have a open somewhere in this area. And that wiring harness is coming inside and going up to this connector. Uh, do, 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 do. And we know we have power at the fuse over here i mean somewhere from the fuse so we are have an open somewhere in this wire probably over that door well let's uh, try to get to that connector i don't worry directly under the dash it's probably somewhere here in that connector okay let's try to remove this weather boot and get access to the connector itself See what we have here. There we go. You want to see what's happening there? Okay. Pretty tight. And uh, can we undo this connector? I think so. Yeah, this is just a boot. All right. Uh, let's disconnect this guy. There's a tub on the top. Pretty tight, but it's still enough room. Let's try to pull this connector out. Uh, 
Okay, just be nice. I don't want to fight with you. Okay, there we go. She's out. Oh, tons of dielectric grease, which is good. All right, I disconnected this bad boy. Let's uh, find this yellow wire on this connector and yeah, common spot probably for it to break. Okay, let's uh, find our yellow one. So where it is? Oh, here's another one. It's broken at the connector. A red. And there's white with a red tracer. It's broken right at the connector. See, it's just, yeah, not there anymore. Probably more wires or like that. There's our yellow one, actually. Hard to see, but uh, yellow is still intact. Let's check our yellow wire if we have any juice on it. Let's um, connect our test light, turn the ignition on, and see if we still have power coming to that part of the connector. Okay, we have my test light connected. Okay, I'm going to turn the ignition to the on position. Okay, ignition is on and see if we have power on that wire. Okay, let's probe it. I can get here my test light and we have nothing. Ignition is on, test light is connected and here's our broken white wire with a green tracer which was um, the constant power supply to the door lock module and we have power on this guy uh, it just broke off yeah let's trace this wire up and um, yeah find, find the open yeah we have to fix those wires as well okay let's pull this female part of the connector There's no rusty scratches on this side, lots of dielectric grease. Seems like it's fine. And I don't worry about this one part because this one wasn't moving at all. And um, yeah, problem is with this bad boy. And um, we'll have to get to that side uh, to do. Let's just. Put this one's in maybe. Uh, okay, probably will need to take a fender off at least partially to get access to that side because um, yeah, I have to remove the fender. Ta -da -da -da. Okay, here's a one, two, three bolts here, one there, uh, two, 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 one, uh, one on the bottom. Yeah, let's just uh, have enough. We don't need to remove the fender completely, I hope, just to get enough room to get another side of the connector. Have this fender off. Yeah, nice. What else? What else is holding? Something. Finally, we got our fender removed and now we have a good access to the wiring harness. As you can see, I already opened it up. This uh, plastic loom, just uh, open this boot, just uh, cut the piece off a bit. And uh, yeah, let's check how many broken wires we have. and. Uh, identify some extra ones and uh, remember we have problem with the driver's side power window as well and yeah let's uh, yeah let's pull the wire and see how many of them are broken there's a different ways to fix this issue you can chop the entire connector and rewire it everything solder it uh, to the another part of the wiring harness in the door 
or we know those ones are still fine they're intact i'll just will extend those wires and run them in parallel and connect to the uh, driver's side or wiring harness and um, that's i think most reasonable and instead of doing all those wires and it should be fine i have here the engine wiring harness from volvo xc70 I have a multiple colors different sizes wires i will just uh, try to find most matching wires and uh, that's why you always keep even old wasted parts like this never know when you will need a wire all right i got those wires soldered heat shrink wrapped around and uh, pull this connector here and also i got another female part of the door connector pulled from the door oh i also removed this plastic cover bracket at the end we can see the wires and uh, I got this connector through and what I noticed I got five fixed but this is another one came off this is another one came off too and um, yeah yeah not good and I have a feeling <laughs> that we'll probably have to chop this thing off and um, wire it might be directly because I have two more wire to fix Ay, ay, this one's not good and it feels like, oh, here's uh, more wires or can I break it off? Yeah, some of them are still intact, but who knows when they will come out, but yeah, we have two more to fix. A yellow with a red tracer and green skinny with a red tracer. Okay, what I'm going to do for now, I just will run those extra wires under the original connectors hole as you can see there I uh, will just uh, cut a small slot put a rubber grommet and should be good finally I got all wires matching and connecting I decided not to cut this male part of the original electrical connector I We'll plug it in like this using a quick connectors, which is fine. And if it needs to be removed, that's easy to do it. And you don't want to chop it, it should be good. And uh, yeah, all colors are matching. Let's connect our uh, door module. Okay, here I go. And uh, so far, everything's connected here and connected over there. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go and connect a negative battery cable to the battery and check what we have. All right, moment of truth. Let's check the operation of the central power lock system. Everything's connected. As you can see, my door locks are open. Those buttons are up. And now I'm going to lock it and see if it works yeah it does and now i'm trying to unlock it and it's not working as you can i can hear cannot unlock it okay but signal from the switch is coming yeah, you can lock it, but no unlocking. Let's disconnect the connector and uh, check the condition of that circuit board. Okay. Let's tap it. Pretty simple design. Just a front clip here. Let's take this one out. And so the hell. Ooh. Looks rusty crusty. Look at that side. That's what's going on here. Lots of rust and crust. As you can see this portion of this circuit board. 
is corroded badly in greens rusties and yeah this tiny little <laughs> resistor here it's almost a rotten way and um, there's a control chip yeah it's all green it's all corroded yeah we need a new new control module that's for sure or work and used one and um, this is no go yesterday I picked up a power door lock module from pick and pull yeah well let's plug it in and see if it will work yeah let's unplug this guy here we go plug and play all right And it does. It's working. Open and close. Nice. Let's take a look. What's those door knobs? Yeah. Everything's working. Sweet. Nice. Oh, <laughs> lucky one. Okay, well, call it fixed. Now I'm going to swap the modules, take this one back to the wrecker. It will pay me $3.50 for the core charge. And uh, yeah, assemble the door panels, put everything back. That's it for today. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Critics, suggestions, any concerns, yeah, leave it there. And uh, subscribe to the channel. I appreciated that. And if this video is helpful, please put a thumbs up. And see you soon. Bye-bye.